This time next week will be the opening day of Euro 2020. But after Trent Alexander-Arnold was ruled out of the tournament yesterday, attention now turns to the fitness of these two behind me. Harry Maguire has stepped up his rehabilitation work as he looks to recover from an ankle ligament injury. Now, Maguire and his Manchester United teammates arrived yesterday with the defender coming through his first strength session with the England fitness team. Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, Dean Henderson all took part in training with the rest of the squad. Jordan Henderson is also a doubt for the game with Croatia. It's a week on Sunday. Gareth Southgate has said it would be a bonus if the Liverpool captain was fit enough to take part in that game with concerns over his fitness remaining due to a groin injury. Former England physio Gary Lewin explained how the medical team will be working with both Henderson and Maguire. The support staff with England, uh, Bryce Kavanagh on the sports science and fitness team will be doing a lot of objective markers on the amount of running he's done, the speeds he's reached, um, his capacity to play and the medical team uh, under Doc Williams and Stephen, Stephen Kemp and Simon Spencer will be checking him medically to make sure he's OK. But it all sounds positive at the moment. It sounds like he's stepping up and... What you've got to remember is the tournament is over a four-week period. And, I mean, Belgium are going through the same thing at the moment with Kevin De Bruyne in that it looks like he might miss the first, first uh, or second game. Um, they have to weigh up. Are they ready? Are they up to scratch physically as well as medically? And uh, at which part of the tournament will they be ready? And if you're planning to win it, you're planning to win it in July. So they've got plenty of time to get him fully fit. I think it's slightly different uh, with Jordan in that the... Um, they would be a bit more careful on his fitness levels. But as I mentioned earlier, they've got a month now and he could play a, cru a crucial part um, in the tournament as the tournament goes through to the later stages where you're looking for the experienced players to, to step up to the block and perform and he's one of those players. So after all the debate over whether he should be included in the squad, Trent Alexander-Arnold's tournament is already over before it began. He's out for up to six weeks with a thigh injury suffered against Austria on Wednesday. A simple and understandable message from him on Twitter this morning, simply saying, absolutely gutted. So who will replace him in the squad? Well, Southgate says he'll wait until after Sunday's game with Romania before naming the replacement. With three other right-backs in the squad, it does leave the possibility for an extra midfielder in Jesse Lingard or James Ward-Prowse. That is a move the Athletics' David Ornstein supported on early kickoff this morning. Personally, I'd love to see Jesse Lingard in there. He has the 2018 World Cup experience under his belt. He's 28 years old now. He finished the season, second half of the season on loan with West Ham from Manchester United in spectacular form. Although in those last couple of days, weeks, it, it may be tailed off a little bit in terms of goal scoring, but he'll also be a really good traveler. He's a great spirit character to have in the camp. He's very popular among his fellow teammates. And for that reason, I, I would love to see him there. I wouldn't complain at James Ward-Prowse. If Gareth Southgate looks at Ben White as someone who can play in defence and in midfield, there could be a possibility he might get that place over Ben Godfrey. I agree with David. I, I, I'd like to see Jesse Lingard. I, I think, you know, he played a huge part in West Ham, just getting over the line to secure European football. He's got that pace to beat players. I think defensively we're quite solid. I think Maguire should be okay. As I said, look, listen, the players that we have got in midfield are excellent players. You know, Bellingham, who's in there, 17-year-old. I mean, how good is he? Uh, you've got Sancho as well. That hasn't really been mentioned. And as I said, the, the, the names, obviously, are Lingard and Ward-Prowse. One name that I actually uh, hasn't really been, been mentioned is Ollie Watkins. And, and that's somebody who I thought would have possibly been in the squad anyway, particularly... Uh, when Greenwood pulled out. So uh, it just depends. I mean, the manager's got a, a difficult decision, but it's a good decision to have because wh whoever he picks, he's got a quality player. Well, Southgate's former Middlesbrough boss, Steve McLaren, has plenty of experience of being involved with England squads, dealing with injury worries at major tournaments. He's explained why Southgate will be keen to keep Henderson and Maguire around whatever their injury status. Having them players around is key because they're the leaders, they're the experienced, they bring the team together, they're the spokesmen, um, but also building up the fitness in the training and getting them ready for when they have to play is, uh, it, 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 from my experience, it never worked out with Beckham, it never really worked out with Rooney uh, coming into play. 
So, so Gareth, um, yeah, we'll want them more for the benefit of being around the team, getting them to match speed, but also the other players must step up and be ready.